Say goodnight, Gracie. Hello? Cloak and Dagger 101. Shut up. She's coming around. Close. What did she say? Uh, well, it sounds like, uh, closer, closer. She wants the drink moved closer. She's thirsty. No. If she wanted a drink, she'd say drink or scotch. She wouldn't say, oh, use your head. Who cares how she says it? Just give her the drink. No, wait. Close. Look. Look. See? Coaster is a coaster. Yes. <clears throat> Damn it. How did I get stuck with the two oh. of you as my cleanup crew? Listen, I would look in the mirror if I were you, okay? Because I'm not the only one who's got this bitch figured out back asswards, all right? Question time, lady. This Captain Landau you mentioned, back to fiction. Don't answer. I don't want to know. Fiction. Oh. <sighs> Oh, she fed you a line. You took it in the cheek. Hook, line, and sinker. Now I beg your pardon. But who is stuck with whom here? Look, I couldn't take the chance. Why would she lie to me about something like that anyway? Because she's on your pathetic cop routine, that's why. Bullshit. Something about this bitch that makes me very nervous. Why would you lie to me like that? Because you're dumb. No policeman in his right mind would break into someone's home. Oh! Oh, what a mess. Oh, women are always bleeding on the furniture. Oh, let's grab some munchies. I don't know how you eat those things. Oh, mm, it's grain. It's good for you. I love the decor in the kitchen. Did you do that yourself, ma'am? Would somebody please tell me what this is all about? I have a dinner party tonight. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> dinner party tonight. I like that. Oh. Want to know what this is about? We're here to kill Ronald Wald. Who? Your husband. My husband's name is Jeremy McKay. But in a former life, it was Ronald Wald. Okay. Ronald was an operative for a covert group within the CIA, set up to eradicate certain problematic situations. Radicals on U.S. soil. Hush-hush situations where the president felt it was better for that individual to just disappear than for the entire nation to just air its dirty laundry. My husband worked for the president? Your husband was an assassin. Mm, one of the best. And then a few years ago, he just up and disappeared. Left a letter behind saying he thought that the company was trying to set him up. Well, of course they were. But, you know, in our line of work, you don't just quit. The company retires you when they're ready, not before. Ring a bell. I don't understand. Oh. Mrs. McKay, your husband has some very unusual bridge work. So unusual, in fact, that his dentist plugged into a dental forum on the internet right, to get some help from his fellow tooth fairies. Now, it just happens on pure fluke, one of our spooks was listening to the exchange. Well, we ran his x-rays through our computer. Well, here we are. Your husband's been a very bad boy. Time to clean up his mess. It's going to take me about three hours to set up. I'd like to get started if it's all right with you. Do it. Take her to the basement, put a gun in her mouth. We have a no witness policy here, Miss McKay. I'm sure you understand. Let's go for a walk. Boom, ba -da -ba -ba -boom, ba -ba -boom. We ready yet? You know, I would very much like to make my 12 step program tonight. Oh, don't worry. We'll be out of here way before then. I'd like them both to leave in a two-ply garbage bag. Mmm. Drawstring or twisty top? Whichever. What the hell is keeping him? I'll be right back. Chop, chop. <laughs> Da 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 da